And maybe allow me to begin with a very simple quote from the great German writer Goethe, where he says, knowing is not enough, we need to apply. And willing is not enough, we need to do. And frankly speaking, when we think about think tanks, and when it comes to the issue of talent, it's the application, it's the result, it's the final outcome that matters the most, and it's the one thing that we're all being judged. Are we delivering? Are we producing? Are we able to take our thinking to the next level? And if we think about think tanks in terms of their ability and how they're able to take things to the next level, we always reflect on one thing that is the most critical and the most important outcome. What are the results and how we can achieve that and how far we can go. Now that they took all the furniture away, this, <laughs> in a way, explains why I had to hide behind the podium, and now I can be more of being myself. You see, the key word today is talent. And all think tanks, no matter how great or big or magnificent they might be, it boils down to the simple ethos of the individual, the thinker the one who has that magnificent sponge, or the one who actually can reflect and think and be able to see into the future. You see, it is in a form of a circle. Sometimes it has a beginning, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you hope for an end and maybe it doesn't. It's an ongoing process of developing ideas and thoughts. What I'm trying to do today is to share with you three main reflections. That's all. Trying to trigger some sort of thinking, some sort of deliberation. No specific information, nor data, nor numbers or knowledge. Simply a reflection, a lazy form of exercise for the sponge between my own ears. The first reflection is this. What do we mean by talent? And how we can cultivate that talent? And where can we find, actually, the talent? Is it something that we bump into? To? Is it a coincidence that we need to look into? Or it's a deliberation of a process where you have specific tools, specific systems of identification, looking into those who are important, who are different, who are basically unique, who can do what others can't. You see, think tanks are in the business of envisaging, imagining the future. Well, that's old story. I argue, given what we've seen with the pandemic, it's now in the business of creating the future, of designing the future, of being ahead of ourselves, and I would argue only through true talent that we can do that. Therefore, can we find the talent? How can we develop it? And if we did find the talent, if we did discover the talent, how we take that talent to the next level that it actually deserves. The second reflection. All think tanks are based on thoughts and ideas. It's based on this ability to generate something that we haven't seen before, maybe connecting invisible dots, or being able to move forward with our imagination, creativity, and ability to take things to the next level. Having said that, though, without proper understanding of the freedom of thinking, freedom of expression, being able to constantly allow these creative minds the different approaches of how we can imagine, if we don't have the necessary platform, if we don't offer the necessary opportunities, that is not going to take place. It will not happen, as simple as that. Therefore, as we emerged as think tanks, and as we look at the individuals who are these think tanks, that space, that ability, to take things to the next level is absolutely important. One of the great quotes that I like of a great writer called Kafka, he starts in a very ironic way by saying, I'm a cage in search of a bird. And it's ironic because think tanks can feel sometimes this way. It's this mental cage looking for that bird to explain its purpose, its reason, its significance. And this takes me to the third and final thought I would like to share with you, that final reflection. How can we 
become something more than a cage and how we can go beyond the assumptions of why think tanks even need to exist or need to explore or need to develop. How can think tanks move beyond the conventional ways of looking at them? Are think tanks there to validate what we're trying to say, what we already know? Is there any added value? Are we going to vanish at some point because we have some magnificent computing capabilities of certain intelligence that will take us to the next level? Frankly speaking, there's nothing that can beat the human potential. It is that ability to create, to innovate, to take things to the next level that we need not to forget and to constantly reflect and think about. To be very frank with you, with the event that we have today, where we're focusing on talents of different think tanks and having all of you from across the globe coming to this place specifically to generate specific ideas on what to do next, I think it's key and it's important to always remember and realize that the best is yet to come. And when we reflect on the future, the future is actually what we want it to be. What kind of challenges we can envisage what are the opportunities that we can create? And what are also the areas that we are missing that we need to cultivate? To be very frank with you, as we move forward with our debates and discussions, hopefully in the next uh, day or so, although this event is just one event, I think that exercise of constantly reflecting on all the thoughts and ideas should not just end by the end of this event. And frankly, we should be able to take this discussion even further and move forward with how we need to look into this, how we can understand it, and what we need to do in terms of our absolute collective wisdom and taking things to the next level. To conclude, today is not just about trying to get information and knowledge. It's not about maybe nice and fancy presentations or even great empirical data those who are quantitative or qualitative and this endless debate. To be very frank with you, today is about being bold, taking things to the next level, looking into ourselves and reflecting in a very serious manner. The foundation of critical thinking has a wonderful definition that I personally endorse. Critical thinking is the awakening of the self to study itself. Therefore, if the awakening of our minds, if the awakening of our consciousness, if the awakening of our critical thinking, all these different processes that we have is missing, and we claim to be the think tank, then I think we still have a lot to catch with and be able to deal with as well. So I hope that this place will be an awakening. This gathering and exchange will be the opportunity to take things to the next level. I would like to wish all of you a fantastic time great exchanges, and I look forward to many debates and discussions as we move forward, not just for today or tomorrow, but hopefully for many months, maybe years, and I would even argue for infinity if we could dare. Thank you very much.